I've been using Andar's Aspen full grain leather case for the past 20 days on my iPhone 15 Pro Max and I've also been using the capsule on my AirPods 2 here. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on using this case as my daily driver and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Spoiler alert, today we're taking a look at a premium, let me say that again, premium leather case from the guys over at Andar and this is their Aspen case for the iPhone 15 series. I'll throw a link down in my description below if you're interested in picking it up. But today we have two awesome colors to take a look at. We have the brown and we also have the moss. So let's go ahead and just take a look at these two cases together and see what they're gonna look like, give you my initial impressions and whatnot. So this one here is the moss case and I actually have been using this for about a week or so. And that leather smell is still there after a week. Now with any leather case, you're gonna get a really nice patina over time and you can see that starting to, starting to happen with the moss case here. So let me just put this one aside and show you the brown as well. So here it is. This is the brown one, the brown Aspen case. And on the inside of these cases, you get a really nice soft material to protect your phone from getting all scratched up. You also get premium metal buttons when it comes to the Aspen case. And I've always said a premium case manufacturer should always include metal buttons. So this is the moss color once again. Let me just show you what that's gonna look like on the iPhone. So here it is guys, nice color. Let's take a look at the front lip protection as I give you the 360 bird's eye tour. You can see that front lip is definitely protected and I do have a screen protector installed. So if you don't have a screen protector installed, you'll get just a little bit more protection there. But for leather cases, this is definitely the most protective that you're gonna get. Again, these buttons feel really awesome. Very, very premium feeling in the hand. And the back camera protection as well is on point when it comes to the Aspen case. You also have a little company branding right on the bottom there. All of your cutouts are perfect. And that smell is something that I just can't get enough of. Now, if you want a matching set, they also do sell a capsule for your AirPods. These are my AirPods Pro here, and I do have the moss color. So that's kind of a kind of a nice little deal if you want a matching set to give someone or you want to give yourself something pretty special. Definitely a nice case for your AirPods. And you have a little lanyard, lanyard port on the side there as well. So this one's moss, but let's go ahead and take a look at the brown because I think the brown is my absolute favorite. And on the inside here, you can see that same soft material. Here's your MagSafe ring, which we're going to test out in just a little bit. But other than that, it's all leather, all wrapped in leather. Super premium, really nice feeling case, and of course, nice smelling. I actually recorded my unboxing video about 20 days ago, and I said, you know what, being a full grain leather case, I really wanna see what this patina is gonna look like, and I've been using this as my daily driver for the past 20 days or so. It's been raining, I've been out, I've been about, and I did not baby this case one bit whatsoever. So using the Aspen case, I've definitely come really fond of it, not only because of the full grain leather, and yes, that smell is still prevalent on this case, but I also like the patina that it's actually actually developing. And again, it's been used for about 20 days or so. And now some people might call this wear, and it definitely is wear, that's what patina is. But with full grain leather, it's just gonna give you a new look over time. It's gonna give you that, this is my favorite t-shirt type of look, and we all have that favorite t-shirt. Let me know if you know what I mean down in the comments below, but a full grain leather case is definitely gonna, definitely gonna have some wounds, definitely gonna have some scars from everyday usage. Now after 20 days, I can tell you, this combination is my absolute favorite. The capsule, let me just show you what the wear on this capsule looks like. This is after 20 days, actually I think this is after about 30 days. And this is the capsule in moss color. They have a whole bunch of different other colors and that's what I like about Andar. They have a ton of colors and they also have feature drops. Check my link down below, use my code, save a little bit of coin and get yourself one of these cases. You'll be so glad that you did. But the patina on the AirPods case, you can see not as prevalent because I don't really hold this all day long. I'm not using this every single day in my hands. Whereas on my iPhone case, this is in my hands. I'm constantly putting it on tables. I'm constantly doing this, constantly doing that. But this still smells like full grain leather. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love leather. I think it's one of the best smells in the world. Now only one downside that I have for the capsule case is you do lose MagSafe. So it would have been nice if they included a little MagSafe magnet on the back there, but you still can charge it on any, any Qi charger just laying it flat. But when I come home with my other case, I like to have just put it on the MagSafe charger. Not really a huge deal, but you're here for the case, guys. So let me tell you more about what I like about these Andar cases. Number one, I like the look. Again, I got to just stress that the patina over time is going to look really nice like a fine wine. 
But I like the metal ring around the camera housing here. It just gives you that more premium feel, more premium design. And it's something that if you hit on a table, you definitely hear that metal. And I had another leather case that put a metal ring around the camera housing and that was always my favorite as well. The buttons are metal and feel really premium and nice and very responsive and very sturdy. So they don't wobble around, they don't move, they don't feel cheap in any sort of way. And are definitely spent some time with the development of this case. And here's the power button. It's also a metal, a metal case there. Now just taking a look at the sides again, this is after about 20 days, a little bit of war, war wounds, I'm gonna call them. The Andar logo is still there looking pretty boss. And again, this is just to give you an overall visual of what it's gonna look like. So you can see around the, the camera buttons there, it is getting a little, little wear and tear as well. So again, it's just gonna really brush up nicely and I am interested to see how this is gonna do come iPhone 16 time. So I might throw some pictures on Twitter or Instagram. Make sure to follow me over there. Let me know down in the comments below if that's something you're interested in. But I also like the screen protection. Now again, leather cases are generally on the slimmer side. They're not really super bulky. They're more of that uh-oh protection kind of drop from your pocket. I'll protect you if that sort of thing happens but it's not a rough and tough case. It's not meant to go on the job site. It's not meant to go with you paintballing or any, any activity like that. So the protection is definitely there, screen protector friendly. Now in terms of the fit, a nice fit. Now it does kind of pop off just a tiny bit, but I've never really seen a leather case that snugs your, your phone like nobody's business. But in everyday usage, this is not a loose case whatsoever. This is definitely not gonna, not gonna fall off and it hasn't fallen off when I've been using this as a daily driver. But I just want to let you guys know that, again, it's a leather case, it's a premium case, it's a more fancy case, if you will. When it comes to the MagSafe ring on the inside of the Andar case as well, you can see that you do have that nice little stabilization magnet portion right on the bottom there. And it's nice to see these case manufacturers putting that extra bit in. It just gives you a little bit more stability when it comes to your MagSafe accessories. Now, in terms of MagSafe, the ring does a nice job. Now it's not the weakest and it's not the strongest neither. It's just kind of the right amount of strength to keep all of your accessories. So here we are with a wallet, guys. I have a little wallet stand that you can use with, with any, of your, any of your MagSafe phones. Turn it in landscape, turn it in portrait, watch what you need to watch, take those FaceTime calls. And when you need to charge up, there's no issues with these battery packs. I've had plenty of battery packs over the past 20 days on, on the back of this device and my, my phone is charged perfectly fine. The battery pack has never fallen off. So the MagSafe ring is definitely doing its job on the back here. Just another thumbs up when it comes to the Andar case. After using the Andar Aspen case and the capsule for let's call it a month, this is my favorite case hands down for both of these devices. I like that premium feel of leather. I like that premium smell of leather and I definitely like all the metal buttons, the metal accents around this case. This no doubt is the leather case to pick up. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe as that helps me out and helps you out as well so you don't miss any of my favorite Jabbertech YouTube videos coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video.